Hey everybody, this is Tyler at MER Equipment. I'm out in our shop. We've got some engines behind us that we're working on. Kind of what we do, build marine diesel engines and generator sets. Every engine needs exhaust, so we do a lot of different exhaust systems. And one component of every marine diesel exhaust system is the flex section. Some people call it wrinkle belly. We happen to call it flex. The center of any of these flex spools or flex sections is going to be the flex capsule itself. We stock these in a variety of sizes and both tube and pipe sizes up to about 14 inches. Um, the material that we use is 321L stainless steel. And it's actually three plies, three laminated plies that are all eight thousandths of an inch thick and they're also supplied with a resistance welded uh, band on either end to make it easier to TIG or hardwire stainless steel weld to that. And the reason that you need to be able to do that is you have to attach it to pipe. As you would see here, this particular unit actually has a square flange that would be the companion for a John Deere engine. Um, we do a variety of different different flanges. We stock everything for Cummins, John Deere, Volvo, Scania, whatever flavor of the month happens to be. Um, a lot of them typically, these flex sections will have a flow liner in them, as you can see that this one does. And the reason for that is either if you have temp you know, excessive temperature, if you're within three feet of a turbocharger, or... 25 feet per second of velocity of exhaust gas, then basically what happens with every flex section is it gets too hot or you actually get erosion from the air traveling through there or exhaust gas. So this is always a nice little feature, it doesn't add too much cost and you know basically guarantees that the flex capsule will actually last the life of the engine, which is usually used to not be the case with most of these things. The other advantage of a multi-ply flex section is they have quite a bit more flex, they're more of a slinky than the old school single ply stuff that was kind of the Navy spec that came from World War II. And most of that stuff was 35 thousandths of an inch thick, so over a 30 second of an inch. And that stuff's not very flexible. And the rule of thumb is that the flex capsule itself had to be 12 times the diameter and length to actually get the amount of compression you needed. And this stuff can be considerably shorter. As you can see, this is a six inch pipe flex and that thing's got an overall length, I think, of like six inches. And we would do them all the way down to four and up to 12 inches long. So depending on the length of run, how much vibration you're going to have, how much thermal expansion from, from pipes growing or shrinking, you know, kind of varies. But that's what we're here for to help you figure out what you need. Um, they're pretty handy because these ones are made for pipes, so you can actually just, if you need to step up or down from the engine, you can just weld those right in. Obviously, we've got lots of different elbows. You know, we also do... A lot of floating flanges, as you can see on this one. It's got a retainer right here. There's some weld stays on this, so I can't actually make this thing spin, but if it wasn't on here, this, this would allow this flange to spin and still seal on this gasketing surface. So if you're doing a replacement, the nice thing about that is uh, you don't have to worry about bolt hole alignment, which is super convenient, especially if you're in a remote place and you don't have your own you know, TIG welding machine to fix that on your own. Uh, this one's got a smaller Cummins flange. We do a lot of different smaller diameter flanges just because the standard ANSI flange that a lot of people use are kind of big and bulky. Anyway, that was a lot of information in a very short period of time, uh, and I hope that half of it made sense. But if you have any questions, just Google MER equipment, and you'll find us online. And call, talk to me or one of the guys in the parts department, and we can help you figure out what you need. Take it easy. Bye.